Tonight, an aspiring Madison Business School grad is looking to get his new business off the ground, literally. He's looking for investors to help lift his prototype design, and if it takes off, there could be a real windfall. It's around us all the time, but not many give it much thought beyond a minor annoyance on a windy day. All right, let's get it up in the air and see if we got some wind. All right, throw it up. All right, boy. But Rob Creighton has been thinking about wind for the last two years. So our idea was, let's go back to the drawing board and see what we can use for wind power that doesn't require a 200-foot tower. In a quest to harness wind power, he came up with a unique design using a kite, a swing set, a series of pulleys, and a hockey stick for steering. It's real gusty today, but you swoop it around, and then by just kind of driving it in a swooping fashion like that, you see it's pulling on the rope. That moves this rope system through the pulleys and lifts and lowers these bags of salt. You can see it kind of surges as little gusts come through. Yep. And those surges are what, what allow us to lift all that weight. It's designed to pump water. In the next design phase, Rob envisions a more sleek setup, not a swing set. The hockey stick is instead a steering wheel and a much larger, more powerful kite. At the other end would be a farmer in a third world nation. You just sit out here in your field, sit down in a chair, with your steering wheel, the steering wheel. Get, the kite up in the air. get the kite up in the air, and then you just fly your kite for a couple hours and irrigate all your fields or pump your water for your house. It could have an environmental impact on future generations like his own <laughs> newborn son. At this point, really the only thing keeping me going is I, I just see such a need for the product. There's just a, there's a water crisis right now, and we're not really aware of it here. Those were 200 pounds of salt bags, by the way. Rob and his business partners are ready to make their prototype more professional. And you can learn more on the Red Links section of Channel3000.com.